friends, shall we read Splash? So, if you say yes, then let's read it. Of course, the person that said yes will read it with me. Splash! Content! Surprise! Sad shadow swimming, log floating, seaweed sinking, the big boat. Surprise! One day, a tiny sea serpent was born. She swam to the surface. Splash! Went her tail. Shush! Said Mama. Hush! Said Papa. But her tail swished and splished and splashed. Splash! Cried the little sea serpent, and that became her name. Splash grew bigger, her tail did too, and it made bigger and bigger splashes. Shush! Shush! Said Mama. Sea prints are silent. Hush! Said Papa. Sea prints are sneak. The splashing is fun! The splash. Not if people hear and see you. Said Papa, you might get caught. Splash tries to be quiet, but every time her tail twists and splash, then splash. Mom and Papa went to Grampy for help. Grampy was the most tired. Sneaky sweet hurt in the sea. He was also the oldest and wisest. He knew just what to do. He did time for the splash to have deep in swimming lessons. I will teach her myself. Shadow swimming. Flash forward, Grampy to the surface. First, I will teach you shadow swimming, said Grampy. Yeah, said Flash. Said Grampy, swim only in the shadows. Pretend you are shadow. How to do shadow splash? No, said Flash. No, said Flash. Right, said Grampy. Time to hide. Follow me. Grampy swam ahead. Soon he reached some shadows. The shadows ripple with Grampy ripples too. He looked just like a shadow. Splash tried to rub off. She tried to be like a shadow, but her tail wouldn't let her. It twitched and splashed and splashed. Oops, said Splash Grampy frowned. You have to practice your shadow swimming. Log floating. Next, I will teach you log floating, said Grampy. Swim next to the log. Pretend you are log. Do log splash? No, said Splash. <laughs> right, said Grampy. Time to hide. Follow me. Grampy swam over to the log. He lay on his back. He lay very straight and still. He looked just like a log. But Splash lay on his back. She stretched out straight. She tried to be still. She tried to be a log. But her tail wouldn't let her. It twitched and squished and splash. Ew, the splash. Grampy ground, you'll have to practice the law of coding. Seaweed sneaking. This is the last lesson. Said Grampy, it's called seaweed sneaking. Dive down to the seaweed. Pretend you are a piece of seaweed. The seaweed splash? No, said Splash. Wait, Grampy, trying to hide. Follow me. He swam over to some seaweed. He dove deep on his tail stuck up, up out of the water. The seaweed swayed. Grampy still swayed too. It looked just like a piece of seaweed. Splash dug deep. She stuck her tail out of the water. She tried to be like a piece of seaweed. <laughs> she tried extra hard. But her tail wouldn't let her. It twitched and squished and splashed. Splash. Oops, 
said Matt, Matt replied. Let's try again tomorrow. It's time to stop it. Okay, whispered Splash. Big bout. Splash screamed and Rappy started screaming home. They heard the noise. Chug, chug, chug. The noise grew louder and louder. It's a boat, Grampy. Quick, time to hide. There were no shadows or, or logs or seaweed in sight. Splash didn't know what to do. Grampy went still. Splash went still too. He didn't try to be a shadow, log, or piece of seaweed. He was trying to be just himself, but silent and sneaky. Her tail let her. He didn't switch a flash or a splash, not even a little. Chug, chug, chug. Alas, the boat left. Well done, said Grampy. He was proud. Flash was flower. I didn't need to be a shadow to love or see to be still a clean flash. I can be splash without any flash. I guess you can, said Grampy. To celebrate, Grampy took Splash to a secret cave. There she, there she could be as loud and lively as she wanted. Yes, but guess who made the loudest Splash of all? The end. <laughs> the end, friends. I hope you like this book. See you in the next video. Bye.